so, so wet in Ohio. Not only because there's just a little bit of water there that uh, somebody's gonna cry about and say, oh, well, that's just a little bit of water. That ain't nothing. Well, you guys just wait until um, we get to the farm, look out across that creek there, and then you tell me how, much, how wet we are. <laughs> We are so wet that it's going to take all this week of 70 degree days if Father God provides for the ground to dry out. I mean, we're just that wet and it's like I said, it's going to take a week of 70 degree weather or 80 degree weather to dry everything up. Now, did we need this much rain? No. Did we, do we need this much rain come June and July when it's dry? Um, we do, but more so in a steady light rain for three days okay I mean I've never seen water run like that before oh and there's a log here that I just caught out of my peripheral vision huh. wonder how that oh you know what is that a tree that or was that a tree I don't know, but it looks like somebody done cut that apart. I don't know. I bet you somebody cut that. It, it sure it wasn't us. I don't know if you guys can hear that, the water. <coughs> I am not trying to make ruts in the grass. It just, it is how it is. Um, and us, needing to take a week a good week i'm not kidding when i say we're gonna need every bit of a good week meaning no rain whatsoever and 70 75 degree days with a probably 15 mile an hour wind to dry everything up Oh boy. I mean, it is April, so, <clears throat> you know, I mean, it normally does rain like this, but it doesn't rain like this. I mean, this is just too much rain. I remember that tree falling down. It did. I just didn't notice. I don't know. It is so wet. Um, I'm surprised that I'm not seeing any more trees over. Falling over from all the wet ground we have. Um, <laughs> it is... This is nuts. I will be surprised if I can get in the grass, if I can mow grass, maybe by Thursday of this week. But that is only, <laughs> that is only mowing grass. Oh boy. I mean, look at. This is just, this is ridiculous. I'll bet you we got from probably five o'clock yesterday morning, we got every bit of two and a half, almost three inches of rain without dumping the rain gauge. Let me know in the comment section below because I'm curious if Anybody else is as wet as we are. 
I'm, I'm curious. I don't know. I don't follow other pe other place, other states that closely. To go off the top of my head and say, okay, you know, New Jersey dry. You know, they could be wet, just like us. Um, maybe I could mow everything and just let along the creek here go because. Yeah, we're just a little wet, wouldn't you say? Just a little bit. I mean, it's nothing substantial. Oh boy. I mean, water's just fighting to get out of that pipe. It's got nowhere to go. ditch doing that I dug. Didn't dig it big enough. Oh well. <sighs> Better luck next time I guess. I didn't think we were going to get this much rain. Eh. It is what it is. A baby. Hmm. Doing good eating that. Hmm. Yeah, you are. Look at that mouth go. Well, he's spilling more than he's. Oh. Well, at least he's getting it in him. He don't have a good seal on the, on his bottom jaw there, but oops, I didn't mean to do that, huh? So we'll just keep doing this until he's big and strong and then we'll try and we'll try and wean him off the bottle. Um, why are you making a mess? Huh? Oh well, you're just a baby. You don't know any better. Huh? You're nice looking calf though. Man. Just nice and smooth all the way down through his back. I remember a little bit about <clears throat> when I was uh, on our local county judging team uh, for our county. Um, I vaguely remember it though, but I do. I enjoyed it. Learning about animals, how to take care of them. Well, not so much that. Going to judging contests and... Um, Doing things like that of interest. Um, just learning more about cattle. Um, there you go. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Get a nice tight seal around that. I know it's hard on your neck, but that's all the that's all the higher board we have in here. I mean, yeah, that gate that there's just a little bit higher but i don't really think it would make that much of a difference i feel bad he's gonna strain that far that his neck that much but that's all the more we can do for the little fella well, he slipped off the bottle but he got it Kind of think that is designed specifically for a board it does not work on a round pipe um the reason for keeping him corralled in like we have it set up here is because that way we can focus more on 
getting him to eat uh, rather than having a whole pen to run around in, we narrowed this up a little bit um, so that uh, he can eat. Uh, we did try introducing the introducing him to grain but it's too early he's got hay there to eat um, i'm gonna put some fresh stuff in there to kind of sop some of that milk up but just it's in here for if he decides he wants to go after it um and he's got a fresh tank of water there got a little bit of crumbs in it are y'all done That's what I love seeing is when they go right back to the bottle. He just needed a breather was all. I don't blame him. I mean, I was a baby too once. Mm. We all were, come to think of it. I better get that out of here. Kind of move slowly so I don't scare the baby. Need one of those, uh, uh, oh, what do you call it? Um, oh, skimmer things like used for swimming pools to skim the leaves out and stuff like that. But you're not gonna be able to get it all the way clean. Um, Are you just about done, little feller? Hmm? Probably not. I know your neck's probably getting sore. Which, you know, that's understandable. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. There, that better for you? Where you wanna go? You're pulling me. You wanna just go right here? Where are you going? <laughs> Gotta get it all out, little guy. There, that, hey. Well, I was trying to help you there, not make such a mess. <laughs> oh, he just loved babies. Just about empty. <laughs> ah, shoot. Where do you want to go? You getting better footing? That what you're doing so close to being empty huh hmm just for the heck of it will it sit on this here come here baby just a little bit more That's on a metal pipe, but it don't, it don't like to stay. I mean, hey, it was worth a shot though. Uh, I'm afraid if I put it up too high, he could, he has a better chance of straining his poor little neck and um, just, What do you guys think we should name them? What do you guys think? I'm not really into naming calves, but I kind of maybe feel like we should. I think we should, anyhow. 
Let me know in the comment section below and I'll let you know what I come up with for votes in the next video. Got that bin going over there. I filled the feed cart so that it sensed that I took feed out of the upstairs and it is pulling feed from that tank up that white tube. There's an auger housed inside of it. Augers of feed upstairs. We're gonna load the steer feed into the grinder. It's not a hollow sound when I tap on the bin. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, probably one, two, three, four, four rings up until it starts getting hollow. We got enough pry for another week or so. Come in the big building here, get this tractor started. Um, we can run the grinder because the 3010 has a canopy on it and it will, it'll hit uh, the canopy and we don't want to do that we could make our lives easier fold the auger up like you're supposed to but um you still got to move all that weight once you get the auger extension out where it needs to be and that's the real killer for us right now is moving that auger with the extension out little cold I could get this auger myself but it's too much weight for one guy to handle on his own I had thoughts about mounting a about taking this winch cable system off putting a little hydraulic cylinder on it with a short stroke um since that tractor's got two sets of remotes on it you would have up and down and then swing left and right um i don't know i and then i mentioned it to dad and he's like well something would be guaranteed to get broke doing it that way but i'm like you only need just a little, little cylinder, okay? And uh, you won't need that big of hydraulic hoses. I think it would work, wouldn't you guys? Well, I'm getting it. It's hard when it gets, you know, up so high because this, when this goes up, it moves up with it, making it, making it hard to crank that auger, let alone trying to swing it when it's empty and the auger is empty so yeah it's been a struggle ever since we bought the thing but it's a darn good grinder the other farm hand we had wouldn't get up to that bin I think you only had like a 10 foot auger or something on it or this is I think 20 foot that extension helps. When in doubt, just like I am, it looks like I can just come straight and it'll hit. When in doubt, you always climb yourself up on the bin, check out what's going on rather than just trying to guess. Because that's when you get into trouble, is when you just guess, guess stuff.
just keep on stacking the feed in here because that grinder is just under half full and we got nowhere to put the feed Nothing sure beats a 4020. That's a good combination. That tractor and that grinder. Looking at this bin here, it's positioned differently so we can come in from the back side, run the auger into the bin versus that one there. I guess we could turn it, you know, so the steps, so the ladders on the the shop side but we could um, then we would have to run all new auger and everything well I guess we could just turn that down the, I'm gonna have to go look at that see how we can do that differently to break. to keep moisture out the rain we'll put our tractor away and hook a grinder just got done loading the semi with corn out of the bin so it's ready to go out west next week so um that's why we have the wagon here full of corn to grind out of again when you tap on something and it makes a non-hollow sound is when you are full that bin is still tore apart hopefully tam comes back this week finishes that up guys once again this uh instagram account i got hacked so um that's my new one uh, yeah it's unfortunate but it is what it is there's not really a whole lot to do during this time of year um especially when it rains for days and days on end just Basically sweeping the shop or the barn floors and keeping the animals bedded. Can't really turn this bin like I was talking about putting the ladder back here because so we can get away from that railing when we go to run the auger out. Um, it just wouldn't work because of the way this here is designed um this slide it wouldn't work we would have to make the auger come for, out from here either come around this way or go around back behind and up and i don't really think an auger likes tight turn uh tight turns like that so this is 
how he had to do it, unfortunately. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Hmm. How sweetheart. I love kitties. And they love me. Yeah, you do. Huh. You do love me, don't you? Yes, you do. Kitty thirsty. That's how barn cats get their water. Is they just drink out of a kettle water. Are you not thirsty because I showed up? Oh. Oh. Hi, sweet pea. Boy, it would sure be nice if I could climb like the kitties do. Where are you trying to go, bud? <laughs> Don't fall down. That might hurt. I said don't fall down. Even the cats don't listen to me.